Do you hear it? The gong throughout the sky. It is the Axis Zaslav, and it has struck again. <laughs> uh, there's a show that came out to some fanfare because Ridley Scott was behind it a couple of years ago on HBO Max called Raised by Wolves. Now, some people completely love this show. I watched the first season of it, and I was intrigued. I, I never fell in love with it, but I was into it enough that I kept watching and kept watching, and then season one finale happened, and I'm like, I'm out. Like, I, it's like I, I'm tapped out. I, this show is now just ridiculous to me. So even though they have a lot of really cool sci-fi concepts, I mean, it's very smart in many, many ways. Like I said, I followed it through to the end of season one, and I'm like, nah, no more, I'm out. So I never did see season two. Um, but... Looks like ain't nobody going to see season three uh, because according <laughs> to one of the stars of the show, uh, now, what is his name again? I was, he's the guy who plays father in the show and I'm missing on his name. Uh, Salim is his name. So he got on Reddit today, apparently, and basically posted a message saying that the show's been canceled. They're done. They're out. There will be no more. Uh, he wrote the following. Power in community, finding a new home. It's not surprising, especially after the news of these mergers and what is happening at Warner Brothers, that a lot of shows are not having their stories finished. And unfortunately, one of those shows is Raised by Wolves. Nothing has been shared yet, but there is a reason for that, an important one, and one which I'm here to share with you now. There is hope, he said. Basically, it's this. So the star of the show has come out and said, we're being canceled. Uh, they're not officially announcing that yet because they're going to shop. They're going to shop around and see if they can find a new home for it off of HBO max. So he's there talking to the audience saying, Hey guys, please start rallying, start a say hashtag saved by wolves or whatever you can. There you go. I just made up the perfect hashtag hey, for you. Saved by wolves. Like get a hashtag going, do whatever you can do to get this thing saved. Um, I will not shed any tears for Raised by Wolves. Again, it is a very interesting show, and I love seeing shows swing for the fences like this one did. Didn't quite work for me, but again, like I acknowledge there's a lot of people who absolutely love this show, uh, and maybe it can't. I am dubious about it finding a new home because when you look at Raised by Wolves, it feels like an HBO show, and I don't know that it can live on... I don't know that it would find a home on Amazon or if it would find a home... Netflix might be an option, Netflix might step in, but they've been tightening their belts a little bit lately. So I don't know about that. I mean, Netflix may look at it and say, hey, Raised by Wolves has a, a little bit of a built-in audience already. We do season three, boom, new subscribers. I mean, it worked for them. It worked for them in spades with Lucifer. It worked for them even with um, a Designated Survivor, Yep. right? So take a show that somewhere else has a bit of a fan base, got canceled. Hey, hey, fans. For those of you who aren't Netflix subscribers yet, so maybe Netflix. I don't know, Rob, you hear about them. Looks like they're going to be canceling Raised by Wolves. What do you think about it, and do you think it can find another home? You know, I I didn't love Raised by Wolves, but I liked it. I appreciated that it was something new and unique. Like, I when I was watching, the, I saw, I watched the whole first season, thought, when I got to the end, because the end has a strange note it's, to it's, end on. Yeah, the end is strange. You know, yeah. and, 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 and I, I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I love this show, but I appreciate that it exists. Unfortunately... That doesn't really work <laughs> if you're not getting enough of an audience having something that's that it just exists isn't enough it ain't show friends it's show business and if you're not doing some good business well then why is your show on the air and this show is not cheap you know uh even though it's the locations aren't necessarily expensive but still it's not surprising to me now i haven't seen all of season two actually i only watched the first episode of season two um i don't know how it ends but i can't imagine that it's it's certainly not a water cooler show, you know. I don't right. hear a lot of people talking about it. When they are talking about, it, they're like, "Geez, that was weird." You know, that's basically <laughs> that was a weird show. And and uh, okay, so I I don't even know if it'll get picked up. Maybe Netflix might buy into Apple it. Apple Plus might not be a bad home for it. Too. No, I mean I could see it seems more like an Apple Plus show anyway. Yeah, really. I just see more benefit for a Netflix maybe picking yeah. them up. But I just don't. I think it's probably done. Chris, have you ever watched Raised by Wolves? And what do you think about its cancellation? No, I had to Google what this was and then went, oh, yeah, Ragnar's new show. That's right. I didn't watch this at all. So I am not surprised that it's gone. Yes, like a, a lot of people just never heard of it. Anyway, guys, question is for you. 
Did you watch Raised by Wolves? If so, what did you think about it? What do you think about the fact that the Stars coming out now ahead of the game and telling everybody, listen, guys, they're canceling us? Do you think it can find a new home? If so, where do you think it'll go? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Guys, we want to take just a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass is offering classes on a wide variety of topics, like all taught by world-class masters at the absolute tops of their field. Each class is broken down out into individual video lessons, usually like around 10 minutes or so long, and members can explore at their own pace. And each class is supported by downloadable materials, lessons, recipes, or more that you can all find at masterclass.com. For example, are you into streaming? Well, you can take the Building Your Streaming class taught by ninjas so you can sharpen up on your streaming skills. Or if you're interested in independent filmmaking, take independent filmmaking from Academy Award winner Spike Lee. You want to get classes on how to direct? How about from Ron Howard? The very first one I personally looked up and got into was Business Leadership by the great Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger himself. And I was absolutely in enthralled with it. I love every single minute of this stuff. If any of those apply to you, you need to try Masterclass. So I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a John Campy Show viewer, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash Campia. Once again, to get 15% off your annual membership, go to masterclass.com slash Campia.